Hi, welcome again to our science class. Today, we will continue our discussion on the other types of plate boundaries, and we will discover what happens to plates when they spread apart or slide against each other. In our last video, you have learned the types of convergent plate boundaries where plates collide. Now, what causes these plates to be pushed toward each other? It is because other plates from other parts of the world are actually spreading apart or moving away from each other. This type of plate boundary is called divergent plate boundary. Divergence of plates usually happens on oceanic crustal plates. Tensional forces caused by the rising magma from the mantle trigger the oceanic crust to be uplifted. Rifting follows which produces deep fissures on the crust. Upwelling magma causes these fissures to erupt in the middle and shallow earthquakes occur. Expelled lava immediately solidifies and forms a new crust. Because the crust is uplifted, an ocean ridge is formed. Ocean ridges are very long underwater mountain system and the largest geographic features in ocean basins. Oceanic crust continuously wells up, cools, and progressively pushed away from the ridge. A very good example of this type of plate boundary is found at the Mid-Atlantic Ridge under the North and South Atlantic Oceans. The figure on the left shows the seismicity of North Atlantic Ocean from 1975 to 1995. Observe that the recorded earthquake epicenters file along the middle of the ocean floor. It is also good to note that these earthquakes occurred in uniform depths of 0 to 33 kilometers. This is also similar to the seismicity of South Atlantic Ocean shown in the figure on the right. Earthquake patterns prove that the ocean floor of the North and South Atlantic Oceans is cracked in the middle and is spreading apart. Scientists later on marked this crack as a divergent plate boundary between North American Plate and Eurasian Plate for the North Atlantic Ocean. This crack is extended to the southern hemisphere, separating the South American plate and African plate for the South Atlantic Ocean. Studies show that these plates are moving away from each other. This causes the formation of the longest ocean ridge in the world, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge was the first ocean ridge to be discovered. It is rugged and composed of many ridges and valleys that lie parallel to one another. Mid-Atlantic Ridge is submerged for its entire length except in Iceland. This shows that underwater mountains could also rise above sea level. The seismicity of Africa from 1977 to 1997, as shown in the figure, displays records of shallow earthquakes in its eastern portion. This linear formation of the earthquake's epicenters showed that the lithosphere under the east part of Africa is broken. African plate, being mostly continental, appears to be cracked along the eastern section and said to be moving apart. If we will trace the recorded earthquake epicenters earlier, we can easily locate this crack. Satellite views show that this breakage is already developed into lakes rivers, and reef valleys. There are many reef valleys formed in this area. One of the best examples is the Great Reef Valley of East Africa. This is considered the largest valley found in the continents. Scientists believe that this will continue to spread apart and be farther away in the far future. Continental crustal plates are thick causing irregularities in rifting and faulting. Continental crust is arced upward by the rising magma, stretched thin by tensional forces, and fractured into rifts. At first, rivers will flow into the sinking reef valley to form a long linear lake. Eventually, ocean waters will flow in as the reef grows deeper, causing new ocean basins to be formed. 
Transform fault boundary is evident along the plates that are sliding past one another. This boundary is said to be conservative because it neither destroy nor create crust. When lithospheric plates move around the highly viscous asthenosphere, some just grind against each other. However, this results the occurrence of earthquakes. Transform folds could also be developed as margin between spreading ridges. This figure illustrates the seismicity in western United States from 1977 to 1997. Earthquakes only occur where there is breakage on the crust called fault. Record of epicenters here provides evidence of the presence of faults along this area. These faults mark the boundary between the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate. This gives us the most common example of a transform fault boundary which lies across California, USA. Extending for more than 1,300 kilometers is the San Andreas Fault. Based on its seismicity, movement of plates along this fault is predominantly horizontal, with the Pacific Plate moving northwest and the North American Plate moving southwest. This is associated with occasional large earthquakes. In summary, divergent plate boundary gives way to the formation of new crust in the middle of a ridge. Therefore, it is a constructive boundary. Spreading of lithospheric plates leads us to understanding the formation of the different geologic features and occurrence of geohazards. Meanwhile, transform fault boundary is said to be a conservative boundary where plates only slide past one another.